G'day everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is the picture that we are going to create this week. It's inspired by this tutorial here, the perfect movie poster by Nolsey. It is a Photoshop tutorial and I will link the original tutorial below in case you want to check it out. But as usual, let's get started. We're going to start off with this picture here of our model. And the first thing we're going to do is grab our selection brush and we're going to select the model. Okay, once you've got your model selected, we can come up here to the refine and on our refine selection box here, it's gonna make my brush a little bit bigger with my right and left bracket keys and just run it round the hairline here, just get a better selection. I'm going to feather it by two and in the selection output here, I'm going to pick new layer and apply. That'll give us our model without the orange background here. I'm going to come now to my move tool and I'm just going to make the model a little bit bigger and move down a little bit and move into the center. I'm going to grab my patch tool, just clicking on the forehead anywhere. I'll make my brush a little bit smaller and we're going to just get rid of the eyebrows here. Okay, we'll switch over and do the second one. It's still on the model layer. We might just name this layer model and we're going to add a live filter and we're going to add depth of field. And we want the depth of field just on the face and just around the face here because we want to blur out the hairline and the ears. We'll move this inner circle all the way out and position this up around near the hairline. We'll grab our depth of field box and we'll take it up to about 40%. Okay, still on our model layer, we're going to add a gradient map. On our gradient map box, we're going to add some of our own values. We're going to click on this first point here, click on color, we're going to add six, zero, minus eight, hit enter. We'll click on the second point here and then on color again, go 28, minus one, minus 19 hit enter and again on this last point here hit on color two two nine minus 20 hit enter now we'll change the gradient map blend mode to color and we'll clip that to our model layer hey okay, we'll bring in our background now our new background and we're going to do a little bit of cheating with this gradient map i'm going to copy it command c come over to our background command v and clip that to the background so we've got the same coloring so I'm going to copy this one command c the whole thing come over here to our model layer command v we'll grab our move tool we'll make the whole picture a little bit smaller with command minus holding my shift key down i'm just going to rotate this and pull that all the way out. We only want the gray, so we don't want the water there at all. So we'll just manipulate that. So we've only got the gray background and we'll bring that picture back up again. And on this background layer, we'll call that water background. Hit enter and we'll drag this layer here underneath the model. The next thing we'll do still on our model layer, we're gonna use our pen tool now. So we're gonna come across here to our pen tool. We're going to make the stroke of our pen tool up to 20. We want the color of our stroke to be white. Make sure the mode is pen mode. And I'm gonna start here, right in the middle, come halfway around her face just above her ear and make another click and drag up. Going to click on this little point here, then up here in the middle of the forehead here, I'm going to make another point and then drag to go around her face. Click on this point again, back over to the other ear, click again and drag. Make that point round just around her face there. Click on this point again and then back to the chin and drag till we get that point going around her face. If we click up here on our hand tool, you'll see it's put that white line, the white stroke all the way around the face and it's given us a curve up here in our layers. So on that curve layer, I'm gonna add a live filter, a Gaussian blur, and on my blur here, I'm going to bring the radius up until I see that go quite blurred. And again, it's going to be about 30 is looking pretty good at this stage. So we'll leave it at 30. We can always come back and adjust that later. So next, I'm going to add a new pixel layer right on top 
going to pick my brush. I'm going to pick a soft brush. Going to grab my color picker and just pick this blue color or gray color here and activate that color. On my opacity, I'm going to change it down to 30, low to 30, fairly big brush. And I'm just going to paint just under the chin here and then around the face. And we're gonna build this up bit by bit. Okay, I'm going to bring up my opacity to 40 and my flow to 40 and do the same thing again. Okay, let's bring our opacity up to 50 and our flow up to 50 and we'll paint again. One more, let's bring it up to 60 and our flow up to 60 and we'll paint again. And that is looking pretty good. The next thing we'll do is bring in our particles. So I'm going to come over to our particles here, command C, back to our picture and command V, grab our move tool again and stretch that all the way over the photo here. We'll change the blend mode on our particles here to screen, drop our opacity to 50%. We'll rename this layer particles and again we'll drag this layer underneath our model and we might bring that opacity up just a little bit more and bring these sides in a little bit. Next we'll bring in our water ripples and I'm going to do the same little trick with our water. I'm going to copy our gradient mask from our model layer here, command C, over to our water ripples and command V and clip that to the water ripples here. Make sure we get both of those with a command C. Back over to our picture here and collapse these a little bit and command V. We'll bring our water ripple in. Again, we'll make it quite big and we'll just position that right in the middle. We'll bring the opacity down to about 50%. We'll make another copy with a command J and we'll put one underneath the model. The one on top of the model here, we are going to add a mask and on that mask, we're going to invert it. We're going to grab our paintbrush tool, hit D on our keyboard to get our colors back. We're going to paint in white. Let's bring our opacity up to 100 and our flow up to 100. And we're gonna paint the ripples back in over her neck and shirt. On this pixel layer here, we can bring that opacity down a little bit just until we see the outline underneath. And that looks pretty good. Back on this mask, I'm gonna change to black and just take it away from her chin there. Okay, back on the model layer here, we're gonna come over here to our dodge tool. I'm gonna to bring this up fairly big and on each of the eyes here, make sure we've got our opacity 100 and flow 100. We'll bring the hardness all the way down to zero. And I'm just going to paint some of those white areas back into her eyes and do the same for the other eye here. And while we're zoomed in all the way on the eyes here, I'm going to add a new pixel layer, put it all the way up to the top, change the blend mode to overlay, and change the color to a sort of cyan color. You can pick any color that you like. I'm gonna grab my paintbrush tool, make my brush really quite small. And on both of those eyes, I'm going to paint in that cyan color on both of the eyes here. If you make a mistake, you can hit X on your keyboard and just paint that back out again. And then on that pixel layer, I'm going to bring that opacity down to 50%. Okay, let's zoom out. Our picture's looking pretty good. So I'm going to bring over this picture here, the Eye of Horus here, Command C and Command V. Put it right on the top layer here, which is quite good. Come over to our move tool. I'm going to stretch it out and drop the opacity so I can see all the way through. And we're just going to maneuver that over the eye here. Let's make this a bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. Use this point here to get it close to the nose and stretch it out a little bit. That is looking pretty good. So I'm going to bring the opacity all the way back up again. I'm going to grab my pen tool again. This time I want it on smart mode and I want add new curve to selective curve objects clicked on as well. Okay, I'm going to have my stroke 0 0.6. 
and I want my stroke color to be black. And we're going to trace all the way around this eye here. I'm gonna start right in the corner here and trace all the way around. Moving on to the next section. And then moving into the middle of the eye here, all the way around. We don't need this area here, so we're just gonna skip over that. Okay, once you've gone all the way around the eye, you can come up to this little symbol here and smooth that curve to make it a little bit smoother. And we're going to change the fill to black. And now we've filled all of that in with black. Okay, we can now click off this background. Back on our pen tool here, I'm going to duplicate this curve layer here, Command J. On the bottom curve layer that we just duplicated, I'm going to change the stroke to white. I'm going to change the fill to white as well. So we've got two layers here now. We've got a black, hit enter, and we've got the white, hit enter. Both of these layers now, I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light. And on the white one, blend mode to soft light. And on this white layer here, I'm going to use my arrow key, and I'm going to arrow down about four or five times. And if we come up here to our hand tool, you can see now that it's given us that embossed look around the eye. So I'm going to come back over here and click on both of these layers and go Command G to group them. And I'm going to copy that group Command J. And on the bottom one here, make sure we are on our move tool. I'm gonna to go to arrange and flip horizontal and then move this one over the other eye. And you can now just adjust it if you need to adjust it. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit and that is looking pretty good. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is come back to my model layer here. I'm going to add a curves adjustment and clip that to my model. So it only affects my model layer. On this point here, I'm gonna bring that down a little bit and then in the middle, just a little bit darker as well. I'm going to add another curves adjustment to the background, the water background here. So we come down here to our adjustments, curves. And again, let's just clip that one to the water adjustment here and do the same. Bring this point down and then just a little bit darker here and click off that. One more curves adjustment. I want this one all the way up the top, the very top. And again, just let's bring this point down here a little bit, about to here again, and then just darken that up here, bringing that down a little bit as well. If you think the water ripples are a little bit strong as well, you can come onto the water ripple layers and you can bring both of those down a little bit as well. And this one, you can bring the opacity down on this one as well. And there you go, everybody. That is my take on the perfect poster in Affinity Photo. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial this week. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I will leave you now to put the text in at the end. You can put any text that you like. You can leave the text out as well. So until next time, I'll say to you, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.